So you just see on the uh, the ground, the whole of the uh, the roads, the pavements, everything at the moment is uh, becoming white. So this is a uh, Cleveland promenade. It's, excuse me. It's really hard to talk because the wind is so strong and it is absolutely bitter. But look how lovely that looks. The, the white crashing, you know, another couple of hours. The sea is going to be quite rough again. Welcome back to a brand new video and just look at the hail. It's absolutely lashing it down with hailstones. And uh, if you don't know where we are, we are in Cleveland at the moment. And at the moment, we just started the video and just look at it. Let's just pan the camera around slightly to the, uh, to the left. And it is throwing it down with hailstones. So we're just taking shelter at the moment before we uh, try to even attempt to um, do a bit of a video. Now the sky, it is black. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're in Cleveland at the moment. And it's awful. It's absolutely bitter. And it is awful. So you can just see on the, uh, the ground, the whole of the, uh, the roads, the pavements, everything at the moment is uh, becoming white. And uh, yeah, so we're still under this shelter. Like I said, before we uh, even attempt to uh, to get moving. So this is, uh, this is like a Cleveland's and uh, I think the hail has just stopped now. So what we'll do, we'll have a, a bit of a venture and just see what Cleveland's like about sort of four, about, about quarter four on a, a midweek. And you can see everyone's uh, Sorry, taking shelter from the uh, the cold. Everyone seems to gather in the uh, in the doorsteps. So yeah, I think what we'll do is whip under this shelter. It sort of stretches about sort of 30, 40 feet, so we'll keep a little bit dry. And uh, again, there's a lovely little uh, fruit shop over there. Leetwood produce and they do a lovely organic food but pet shops and all sorts around in Cleveland and everything is wonderfully decorated I've said this many times there is a group of volunteers um, who uh, who decorate Cleveland and it's a volunteer group they do such a wonderful job we'll have a, a bit of a look and show you what they, uh, they do because they put little uh, little decorations on and little woolen mittens, all sorts of things. Um, and they keep the area really, really nice. So you can see there's plenty of little shops up here. Little family bakeries, you know, Bon Marche. You've even got a little arcade as well. Uh, you've got all the, uh, the Costa coffees and uh, all sorts along uh, Cleveland. And uh, let's have a go a bit further because they are actually selling Christmas trees I think that's uh, home bargains um, oh yeah uh, yeah so they've even got the, uh, the Christmas trees so if you do need a Christmas tree you live in Cleveland or around the area um, home bargains have got the uh, the trees up there we go so we've even got trees for sale just in home bargains uh, in Cleveland look at those and they're not a bad price 13 pound so you see they've got a huge selection the, the tree's ready to go. So it looks like, you know, Cleveland's got many lovely old cafes. Look at this one. Look how lovely and uh, decorated that is for the, uh, the Christmas. I mean, you can see there's uh, not a soul outside because of the, uh, the freezing conditions. But, you know, imagine that in the summer. And you've got a little uh, cocktail lounge as well. And that's uh, just situated near uh, Iceland Home Bargains. So we've just been invited into the uh, Cork Wine and Cheese Bar in Cleveland. Fantastic little place this is. So they've been open since May. So we're going to have a, a bit of a whip around. I'll just show you some of the uh, lovely uh, features and everything they got with this one. And uh, so that's the yeah, uh, uh, look all the uh, the wines, everything on the bar. It's fantastic. Look how uh, 
swish this one looks. So if you, you want something to, uh, a bit of a, a bite sweet or a, a drink, then certainly uh, head to this one. So this is just uh, some of the uh, magnificent wine they do. Look at that. So I'm not a, a wine expert, so I imagine possibly some of you are. And that's just uh, some of the uh, a selection of wines they do. And also the, uh, they do the cheese as well. Look at that. Fantastic. So yeah, if you're a, a bit of a loose end or you fancy that uh, exclusive drink, then certainly pop into the, the cork in Cleveless. So yeah, that's the uh, the corkscrew. So like I said, if you haven't tried that one, uh, it's certainly worth uh, giving it a try. Like I said, the uh, I've just been speaking to the uh, the gentleman for about sort of twenty minutes. Had a nice conversation. He was discussing all the wines and all sorts about whiskey. Uh, so it did go a little over my head, but yeah, I'll pop the uh, everything in the description. So if you want to try that one, certainly uh, go into that one. And you can see now they're taking all the uh, all the items inside. And they've got a little marquee and there's all sorts of things, little foam covers and all the little goodies you can imagine uh, they have on the, uh, the street. So they normally got like sort of two or three of these little stalls. Uh, and in the summer it's, uh, it's remarkable, the uh, little bargains you can pick up. And you can see they're uh, just taking everything down now as it's uh, another, another day over. So we'll just uh, head a bit more towards the, uh, the tram line. So at the moment I'm battling an umbrella, I'm battling the... Uh, the, the wind, the rain, cold hands, I'm battling all fronts here, um, just making this video. Uh, but nevertheless, so you might get a few shots of the brolly in, so I apologise for that. And uh, you see they've got the, uh, the tree up now in Cleveland, and uh, that is going to be turned on on Saturday. So we'll, uh, we'll cover that one, because that will be a, a great one. Like I say, Cleveland is such a, a lovely little place. Uh, you know, it's got all the uh, all the decoration. We're going to have a look at these uh, little knitted things. And uh, like I said, Cleveland's volunteers do an amazing job. You can see they're already getting the uh, the Christmas spirit. You see, each one of these are decorated in, uh, in lovely knitted. Um, wow, look at that one. Let's whip the camera around to the uh, the left. Let's have a, a look. You see, you know, they've certainly got into the uh, the Christian. Christmas uh, spirit in uh, in Cleveland this year, and uh, I mean, look at this! How wonderful, you know, do these look? Each one is uh, is handcrafted. So yeah, this is the uh, the Christmas tree in Cleveland. Like I said, the is is going to be uh, turned on on Saturday, so we'll certainly uh, certainly cover that one. How uh, magnificent! Does uh, does that look? And, uh, yeah, look at all the uh, little decorations. It's hanging off the uh, the rails. And uh, right in the middle of the uh, this road, the uh, the tram line runs along, and you get the uh, the tram all the way from Stargate all the way to Fleetwood. And like I said, even if you are living in uh, Fleetwood or uh, or Blackpool, you're visiting. Like I say you can grab the uh, grab the tram. And you come and visit this uh, wonderful place, Cleveland. So right on the corner, this is just one street off the uh, like the main Victoria Road, and uh, let's cross over though. This used to be a wonderful little uh, cafe, and uh, you know I've been here quite a few times. It was a, a fantastic little place, really nice coffee and food, and the lovely people. But uh, you can see that's now it looks like it's turned into some sort of shop maybe not too sure exactly what it is it looks like they're selling sort of ornaments of some sort they certainly uh decorated nice look at all the uh, the flowers in the garden but yeah that used to be a wonderful little cafe um like i said now it's uh it's like it's some shop of some sort not too sure exactly what they do sell but yeah it's a wonderful little place that and uh it's absolutely bitter and I'm facing the wind and uh, like I said it's just one street off uh, the main promenade or the main road shall I say um, and in Cleveland they also have like a shoe zone they've got b and so all the shops you know if you do want to visit make a, a bit of a day of it um, like I said it's a certainly nice little area and I'm sure there used to be a police station 
a little further up on the right hand side and uh, I think probably quite a few years ago I think that's gone now but yeah I'm sure there used to be a police station just uh, just above on the right hand side uh, and this is uh, another popular one in Cleveland it's called the, uh, the Dickens Inn and uh, this gets really busy in the uh, in the summer because you get a lot of holiday makers in uh, in Cleveland in the summertime and you see an awful lot of people uh, outside grabbing their uh, their dinner and that bit of a bit of a bite to eat and drink and that's the uh, the Dickens in Cleveland now if I just pan the camera around to the right I'm sure this building here I might be wrong but I'm a hundred percent sure I really am that, that used to be the police station in fact we can just see something there uh, something like the police and maybe there's an old sign I'm sure that used to be the police station and uh, possibly they knocked it down but how's that unless that was the police station converted yeah I'm pretty sure it was this is uh, Cleveland's uh, bus station. So it's a very, very small one, nothing like Preston. Uh, but yeah, this is a uh, Cleveland's bus station. At least there's a, a bit of a shelter. And again, there's uh, the Cleveland's uh, Royal British Legion just to the uh, right hand side, also. So I'll do all, let's just move around because uh, again, there's some fantastic little arcades in Cleveland's. You know, if you just want that bit of a getaway in the summer. And, uh, was, uh, and uh, yeah, I just went flying. It's ever so slippy. This, uh, this like a sidewalk, really slippy. And uh, this is another really nice one. It's a uh, Kay's traditional fish and chips, and they are absolutely out of this world. So if you ever do come to Cleveland, try these. Highly, highly recommended. Really, really nice. And you can eat in, or you can take away. And that's a uh, Kay's traditional fish and chips in Cleveland's. So again you've got all the many little bars and little restaurants uh, in this area. And uh, what's that? Rachel's Pantry. I wonder what that used to be back in the day. Uh, there's a sign there. Rachel's Pantry. Maybe like a, a baker's of some sort. And uh, yeah so like I said these are the, uh, the arcades. There's a couple of them opposite each other. And there are, there includes uh, Olympiaca Amusements, so a sign slightly gone, and also there's another one in Cleveland, so it's certainly worth a, a bit of a visit for them. So you can see uh, there's work being carried out on uh, the arcades there, and you see the sky, how black it looks, look at that. It looks absolutely black. And uh, yeah, so you see there's uh, work being carried out on, the, uh, on that arcade. And... Uh, Again, the, uh, the clock tower in Cleveland, how lovely does that one look? It looks uh, absolutely amazing. Like I said, you can have your, your coffee, your sandwiches, and just watch the world go by. Um, right on the, uh, the promenade. So what we'll do, we'll nip over. We're not going to go on the beach. We'll nip over and see where the tide is, because uh, I always like uh, just bringing a bit of the, uh, bit of the sea to everybody. So that's uh, another amazing little feature of Cleveland. There's so many. And again, another... Little swanky bistro, Illies. This one's called Illies, and uh, this is right at the top end of Cleveland. And uh, you know, so out of the way, you wouldn't really know it's here. So this is a uh, Cleveland promenade. It's, excuse me. It's really hard to talk because the wind is so strong, and it is absolutely bitter. But well, look how lovely that looks. The, the white crashing, you know, another couple of hours. The sea is going to be quite rough again. You see it's already crashing against the, uh, the walls in the far distance. But if I just show you around to the right side, look how dark the sky looks over there. So I think it's going to absolutely chuck it down in about 10, 15 minutes. It's already raining now, but it looks black absolutely black over there and the wind is getting up tonight the forecast is changing all the time and the wind is getting up to 50 mile an hour winds tonight if you look at the forecast and it looks dark as anything look at that look how dark the sky looks i don't know if the camera's picking it up but it looks black 
and the sea is getting really uh, really wild and choppy already you can see and it is freezing it's got to be about a minus four minus five in this wind at the moment and uh, you can see it just looks completely but i don't think i've ever seen sky look as dark i don't think the camera is picking this up but it is black and uh, yeah like i said this is the uh, the seafront in cleveland so i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna call it a day on this video and i get back to the car before uh, the hail and everything comes uh, crashing down so let's just have a quick look back at cleveland and uh, you can see the uh, the tower you probably won't be able to see it, there's a lot of like, fencing around there but we'll uh, have a quick look at the uh, the tower again the clock tower and this is uh, right at the top end of uh, Cleveland. and uh, yeah it's gonna absolutely i don't know if it's gonna hail snow or just thunderstorm it's a strange strange old night but yeah until next time thank you for watching the video much appreciated if you haven't already subscribed and uh, you do like the content uh, we do go out in all weather and try to bring you as much as possible uh, hit that subscribe button any comments i will try to get back to you uh, as soon as i can and uh, i don't know if you can see but you can see blackpool tower miles and miles in the distance and it looks like it's lit up that lovely red color tonight so until next time take care of yourselves and it is a bye from me and a bye from Cleveland. Bye bye.